Hi everyone, thank you so much for all the positive comments on the previous two videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cook a chicken jalfrezi today, but I wanted to do something that was um, accessible for all our key workers out there working really, really hard for us. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a chicken jalfrezi under 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and show you what all the ingredients that we are going to use today. So these are the ingredients we're using today. I've chopped up some onions, slightly bigger than what I used for the uh, prawn stir fry. Um, I've got some mixed peppers, so green, yellow and red. I've got some mixed curry powder, which again, I will just explain. That's equal parts of cumin, coriander, turmeric and chili. Uh, now this is jalfrezi, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some extra chilli just to sort of spice it up. I've got some garam masala, salt, black pepper, garlic and ginger paste. I've got Greek yoghurt, oil, and I'm using boneless chicken thighs. Now chicken breast is absolutely fine also for this, but whatever you've got in the fridge, I happen to have um, boneless chicken thighs, so I'm going to cook it up with that. Right, let's get cooking. Okay, so let's get the heat on. Make sure your pot or pan, whatever you choose to use, is nice and hot. Now, the method I'm going to use is a little bit controversial. It's a little bit back to front. In fact, it's totally back to front. Um, but just bear with me on this and hopefully the result at the end will be incredible. Right, so that pan is now nice and hot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add boiling water to this to start with. So probably about a litre and a half. Now I'm cooking for a family of four. So depending on how many people you're cooking for, you can make the assumption of how much water you'll need. So as you can see, the water is boiling up nicely. So what I'm going to do to that is I'm going to add the chicken. Now just stir that in and let that cook a little bit. Obviously the chicken is cold so it brings the temperature of the water down but it will come back up quite quickly. Now to that I'm going to add straight away, no waiting around, all the peppers and the onions. Now give that all a stir through. Again, like I said, this is a bit controversial the way I'm doing this. Just um, bear with me though, because the end result will be amazing. Give that a few minutes to cook, maybe about a minute, bring that back up to the boil, and then we'll go ahead and add all the ingredients. Okay, so that's now been cooking for about two minutes. Um, as you can see, it's come back up to the boil. Um, the veg are cooking away nicely. The chicken is cooking away nicely. So what I'm gonna do to this, I'm going to add all my other ingredients. So yogurt, uh, pour that in. The curry powder, that goes in. It's about two tablespoons there. Garam masala, that goes in. Garlic and ginger paste. Again, two tablespoons. A tablespoon and a half of salt. A teaspoon and a half, sorry, not tablespoon, teaspoon and a half, don't want to over season. Teaspoon of pepper and my chili powder, a teaspoon and a half. Right, so give that all a good mix. Now, a couple of ingredients that I actually forgot to show you. What I'm going to do to this, I'm going to put some tomato puree in there. 
and also some chopped green chilies because as you know, I like my food a little bit on the spicier side. And so we'll be adding those in just a minute. But give this all a stir firstly, and then put a lid on it and bring it back up to the boil. Again, another two or three minutes and it should be ready for the other ingredients. Okay, just gonna add about two tablespoons worth of tomato puree. There we go. And what that'll do, will just give it a lovely red color. Adds to the flavor and just mix that through. Now what you're probably noticing is that I haven't added any oil. Now the controversial part of this is that I add the oil at the end um, and you'll see how that all comes together when I do that. So at this point I'm just going to add the green chilies, just chop them up in nice batons. Give that another minute. Now obviously this might be taking a little bit longer because I'm cooking quite a big batch, but if you're cooking for two or three people, it shouldn't be that long. So that's bubbling away nicely. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the oil. About two tablespoons that I put in there. Give that a stir through. And what that will do, that will just finish off the cooking and give it a lovely, nice, glossy finish. And the oil obviously will raise the temperature of the water and cook the spices through. So give that another four minutes at most and that should be ready to serve. So guys, I've left the lid off that and that's been cooking away for now four minutes. Uh, as you can see, it's all evaporated and that is ready to serve. As you can see, the chicken's cooked, the peppers are cooked. It's got a deliciously thick sauce with it. And that is your chicken gel in under 10 minutes. Enjoy.